Every 25 months, the orbits of Earth and Mars coincide and the distance between the two planets is far closer than in the other 24 months. So there's a window of opportunity, and SpaceX wants to get 1 million humans on Mars and take advantage of the shorter distance. 1 million people, wow, imagine that. We have an inside scoop on all the latest tech developments especially coming out of Silicon Valley in China. We're tapped into this world and plan to reveal the most exciting developments for all of you futurists out there. Okay, so SpaceX's journey to space has been a bumpy one for sure. They were really struggling to make it to orbit to begin with. I guess when you think about what it takes to reach outer space, you can imagine that it takes a lot more than a dream. You need a lot of very smart, dedicated people. SpaceX, after many failed attempts, eventually made it to orbit. Well, now Elon Musk wants to build over a thousand starships to move a million humans to Mars. I guess that's just a small step forward. With the recent accomplishments of SpaceX, I wouldn't be surprised when they actually pull this off. Ten years ago, SpaceX started their Dragon missions, and they successfully made journeys to and from the International Space Station. It was only three years before that that they finally had their first successful mission into orbit. Usually when Elon Musk says that he's going to get something done, he at least is going to give it a real go. He puts his money where his mouth is, whether you agree with the man or not. In the world of science and technology, Elon knows what he's talking about. According to Elon, this plan is supposed to play out like a big bunch of Noah arcs. A modern, non-imaginary version, of course. SpaceX hasn't set up any missions to Mars yet, but it hopes to make its maiden voyage later this summer. The spaceship will be made up of two different phases. The first one will be a 230-foot-tall booster powered by 33 Raptor 2 engines. The second part will be the actual spacecraft that will sit on top. It will sit at 164 feet tall, or 50 meters for all you metric system people. While Musk is very keen to start colonizing and habitating Mars, he's not the only one thinking about how. NASA has its own plans for Mars, and they seem to be more conservative than Musk. Musk plans to send 1 million humans to Mars by 2050, but NASA plans to start sending humans there around 2040 to start a long, lengthy process of researching before sending a major population. NASA seems to be more concerned about harsh roadblocks that they'll have to overcome, one of which is that people will lose enough muscle mass to make standing an issue by the time they get to Mars. Musk, on the other hand, thinks that anyone should be able to buy a ticket to live on Mars once they start terraforming. All it will cost is $100,000. Honestly, I'd pay that. For some reason, I always thought space travel and moving to another planet would cost an arm and a leg. With the way things are going, it'll be cheaper to leave and live on Mars than it is to buy a house on Earth. According to Musk, the goal is to send approximately three starships a day over the course of time, and within a month, he believes that there could be a million people on Mars ready to start their new life and work. That's optimism at its finest. But someone has to look at things that way. He even has plans to set up financial aid for anyone that wants to go. He believes that anyone that wants to go should be able to go, and for those that find it financially difficult, they could pull out a specific loan designed for relocating to space. Obviously, the rockets would carry more than just people to the planet. Supplies such as food, water, building materials, and any essential medicine would take up a good amount of capacity of the spaceships. But he's sure that there will be room for at least 100 people in each starship. As for a time frame, he plans to capitalize on the small time frame where Earth and Mars orbits coincide with each other, which happens every 25 months. He's going to bombard Mars with his Mars fleet, and humans will finally be multi-planetary. It's an exciting time, and Mars has been waiting for us to make our move. I'm ready to go, and here's hoping Musk's optimism pays off in the end. If you're a futurist like us, support our channel by hitting the like button and subscribe to see more of our inside stories. Technology's improving at an exponential rate, so continue looking forward into the future because it'll be here faster than you think. Okay, onwards and upwards.